Hello and welcome to Learn ADS in 5 Minutes. This is tutorial 48 on encrypted 3D component based circuit design in ADS. Here is the agenda for this talk and in this tutorial we will first go over the methods to encrypt the 3D components for IP protection and then we will learn how to use these encrypted 3D components in the ADS for RF circuit design. At the end of the day, this is the kind of design you will have along with the encrypted 3D components where all the IP of the component will be protected and not disclosed to anybody using these models. Now using this technique, vendors would be able to share the encrypted models so that the users can directly use it inside ADS circuit design environment for designers to go ahead and design the applications they are looking for. And before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon to enable all the notifications. And after you watch the video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in watching similar tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this exciting feature, uh, which brings a lot of improvements in the way the models can be shared from vendors to users. So to start with, I'm going to use the same workspace which I demonstrated during the last video where I talked about RF circuit design with custom 3D components. In here, uh, earlier we used these standard models where the entire IP was visible to the designers. And I took two um, you know, examples of an air core inductor and one example for a multi-layer ceramic capacitor. So in this case, I will go ahead and open the regular EM Pro view where you would be able to see the entire geometry in all the detailed format. Now, once you have a working model, which is verified to be working fine, we can then uh, encrypt this design and share it with whomsoever we want to, still protect our IP. So to do that, we will first save this project as a copy. And in this case, I would just give it some uh, you know, new name. Let's say I will suffix underscore test. And we'll go ahead and save this um, you know, project under the same working library inside the ADS workspace. And once we have the project saved, we have a component here. And you can see it's a component assembly. When you are creating your own uh, 3D model where you may have different you know, parts which are used to construct the model geometry, you can select all of them, simply right click and create an assembly. And once assembly is created, it's just one click to encrypt the models. You could do so by simply right clicking and then selecting the option encrypt. And you can see now the model is encrypted and once we save it, EM Pro will caution saying it's it cannot be undone. So you need to be careful on what you're saving. But we go ahead and save it because we already created a copy. So once you're back to ADS, we can go ahead and refresh this workspace once. And once we refresh, we would be able to see the new component which we just created. Now under this component, if you switch on the EM Pro view, you can see there is no component shown to you. And even if you try to open that component now in EM Pro, you will not be able to see anything because everything is encrypted. And now under the GUI, you can see there is no model visible. Also under parts, it's an encrypted part. You can see a lock icon here. So the, the entire IP is protected and now you can freely share this particular cell to anyone who wants to use your model inside ADS workspace. Now, once I have the model, and here I already have a design which I did using those models because here I already encrypted all the three required models, one seven turn inductor, then the 10 turn, and the three layer uh, multi-layer capacitor, which I already showed you in the last video. And these models which we just created can simply be dragged and dropped into layout like any other component. And once you do that, like the regular component, you will see a kind of outline based layout footprint. And once you launch RF Pro, all the encrypted models will get loaded along with your you know, PCB or the board design or the IC, whatever you might be using to configure or to mount these components on. And here you can see RF Pro, it appears as if there is no component, 
but in reality you do have these components which are encrypted in nature and they're pretty much there now you can go ahead and set up rf pro simulation like you regularly do so in my case i already have two ports assigned here i can go ahead and run simulation which i have already done and it took like six minutes to run this entire simulation and now i have the simulation as parameter results for this model as can be seen here now the same way like we did earlier we can generate a test bench from here and i already have the test bench here in ads and if i run the simulation i can then compare the encrypted results along with my full 3d model results and now you can see both of these results are obviously overlapping because there is no change in the design it's just that one result was with actual 3d component model and the another one is the encrypted model results so that's all for this video hope you like the content presented and you will be able to use this encryption feature to protect your ip and share your components library with other designers thanks a lot for watching and wish you all the best in your design work